We are determined more than ever to take action against Iran in Syria, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said at the start of Sunday's weekly cabinet meeting. Netanyahu confirmed Syrian media reports over the weekend accusing Israel of bombing their capital's airport. He said the strikes targeted warehouses containing Iranian weapons. The airstrike is part of the Jewish state's ongoing efforts to stop Iran's military from setting up a permanent presence close to Israel, the prime minister said. With the sixth Hezbollah tunnel discovered yesterday afternoon, Israel declared victory in Operation Northern Shield on Sunday. We have now exposed all attack tunnels dug by Hezbollah from Lebanon into Israel, the Israel Defense Forces said on Sunday. The sixth tunnel went 180 feet deep and crossed 2,624 feet of Lebanese territory, penetrating dozens of yards into Israel. The IDF says it will continue to closely monitor its northern border. Facebook will set up a special team in preparation for the upcoming Israeli elections, Calculist's SeaTech website reports. According to SeaTech, Facebook's team will guide Israeli parties and politicians through the company's policies surrounding elections. The team will explain to Israeli politicians the rules regarding fake accounts and posting spam. Those who break the guidelines face the possibility of having their accounts suspended. An Israeli-led NGO has raised money to rescue an endangered coral reef off the Central American country of Belize. A crowdfunding campaign by the Israeli-led international group This Is My Earth has raised $30,000. Founder of This Is My Earth, Professor Uri Shanas, a conservation biologist at the University of Haifa Oranim, said the funds will enable the Turnif Atoll Trust to buy and protect a five-acre strategic parcel off the atoll on an amazingly beautiful spot.